Welcome everyone, it's Donnie from Mad Energy, and today we've got a truly special and a really exciting video for all of you out there. PulseCon 2022 is approaching very rapidly. We've only got two months until September 6th through 8th for that amazing crypto convention happening at Resorts World in Las Vegas. Mad Energy is a headline sponsor for the event, and we're going to be providing some keynote speakers for it. Today, joining me for an interview will be one of those keynote speakers, the CEO and founder of the Thrive Movement, Mr. Foster Gamble. This is going to be an amazing interview. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. So uh, let's bring in Foster and jump right into it. Welcome, Foster. Thank you so much for being here today. And uh, yeah, this is a really exciting day for all of us. Time moves very quickly. Uh, I feel like it was just yesterday I was able to uh, shake your hand for the first time and meet you. It's been like nine to 10 months since I've talked to you personally, though. Yeah, a lot of water under the bridge in those nine months. Well, that's a good segue into um, PulseCon because that's approaching quickly, too. We're about two months out until uh, September 6th through 8th, which is the uh, PulseCon cryptocurrency convention in Las Vegas at Resorts World, where you're going to be a keynote speaker. And we're all just absolutely thrilled about that and so excited. So, um, But maybe we could talk a little bit about your background and where you come from for anyone that might be tuning in who you know is a little bit unfamiliar with you at this point. Let me answer that on on two levels. In, in terms of where I come from, uh, first of all, on the on the cosmic level, uh, I would say, as we said at the end of Thrive 2, uh, I'm the ocean in a drop. I do truly consider myself to be the universe focused through this particular Taurus that is called uh, Foster Gamble and, it, and is a function of my purpose in life. On a very practical level, I was uh, born to incredibly wonderful parents in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, my father's family uh, happened to be way back the, the uh, founding family, one of the two of Procter & Gamble. Uh, and the, the great thing about that for me was that I inherited some money, just enough that if I managed it well, I could have a lot of choice over what I do with my time. So I've actually spent my life trying to answer the big questions and trying to be of the most service that I can be to humanity at what is obviously a, a challenging and critical time. So, uh, so that's what's brought me to where I am today. Sure. Um, you know, it's been about 10 years since uh, your, your film Thrive first came out. Uh, I first w watched it about two years ago, and honestly, it changed my life. If you haven't seen it out there, go to thriveon.com. It's just completely eye-opening and so inspiring. How are you feeling in the 10 years since uh, since the Thrive movie was released to the public, though? The mission of it and the goals that has it accomplished that or? It's exceeded our wildest dreams in terms of its effectiveness in the, the world because we saw real problems coming. And I wish that we had been wrong about them, but everything that we predicted is happening. Sure. You know, literally right down to the, the financial collapse and. Uh, a very suspicious pandemic and and, uh, and vaccine and over a, of food and education and media and so forth. We've tried to warn about all of this. A lot of people thought we were crazy. Now, all the boxes have been checked. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Unfortunately, and in in the first movie, our second movie, uh, two. You know, this is what it takes. Um, and also in what we're doing now with our Thrive Solutions Hub initiative, we are focused on solving these problems because when you have a deep understanding of the diagnosis, which we do, I spent 30 years researching all this. I, I don't have a lot of big questions about what's really going on. Uh, so it, given that understanding, then it, it, it empowers me to respond more accurately and directly with the type of thing that we think is really needed to turn these things around. We didn't think we'd ever make a second movie, but we got contacted after the first one by so many inventors, literally over a thousand inventors and innovators from all over the world. We spent over five years traveling around to visit the best of these. Uh, and what we saw was so encouraging that uh, Kimberly and I finally sat down and said, okay, we're so excited. Most people in the world are feeling so helpless and hopeless. We've got to make a movie to tell people that the solutions to all of these major problems already exist on planet Earth. The challenge now is, can we get past this 
uh, coercive authority? Can we liberate ourselves and liberate all of these breakthroughs? Because if we can, then as we say in the Thrive song, we already have what it takes to thrive. It must have been so refreshing for both of you to get so many responses from actual engineers and inventors out there. To be overwhelmed by so many must have just been thrilling for you to realize there are people out there attempting to do this though, right? Yeah, we didn't know really if uh, humanity was ready for this film at all. We thought, okay, maybe we're going to have to bury it in a time capsule or, or broadcast <laughs> it out in some some other planet in a similar So many blinders on so many people. <laughs> right. And then the thing comes out and from day one, I mean, we did a big premiere in San Francisco. It sold out in 20 minutes at 6 a.m. in the morning. And they went on, the, the, the movie went online that day um, and just took off viral and has been viral for the last 10 years. There's now, well, we've just crossed 94 million official views. That means probably about 110, 120 actual views because it only counts one for a group. It counts one for a DVD and so forth. Right. So that was thrilling to us because what it meant at the core was people want to know the truth, even if it's emotionally challenging to deal with, and they want to, to then go do something about it. I'll tell you, I go back and rewatch the original. I want to say every month or two, just because it, uh -huh, it refreshes me inspirationally. I mean, it's just so, and, and every time I catch something new in it too, which is, uh, which makes the rewatchability also a factor in, in watching it. But oh, I'm thrilled um, you to know, hear freedom. that you do that. Yeah. yeah we, and we yeah. tried to make it as beautiful a movie as possible. One so that people will, could feel uh, safe enough and relaxed enough in our appreciation of this phenomenally beautiful world that we live in on this amazing human species so that they could, could uh, enjoy the experience and know that we know that humanity is actually fundamentally good. We just got certain things that we need to figure out. Uh, and we've actually seen the solutions to these already. So we're actually as bad as things look out there in the world, especially if you just go by mainstream media, we're yeah. very close to the, to the tipping point toward actually aligning with the principles of thriving. Yeah, that's well said. Well, that's a great uh, transition into PulseCon, I feel like, because um, it's all going to be all about freedom and opportunity, which is how we thrive as a species. I believe you said that in the film. So uh, how are you feeling about PulseCon coming up in two months? Oh, God, I am so excited about this, <laughs> this conference. It's bringing together so much. First of all, you know, Las Vegas is just a, a delightful circus anyway, uh, <laughs> where people get very excited about things. What a great Pul description. <laughs> PulseCon is going to give them something way more meaningful to get excited about than usually oh. happens in Las Vegas. But the, what I'm so excited about is to have truth and freedom lovers from all over the country, from all over the world, come together around a, a, a symbol of our liberation, which the whole pulse chain phenomenon is, to, to come together around that in support of it and you know deepen our understanding, get to meet each other, hang out with each other. And uh, what excites me so much is that cryptocurrency in itself is a symbol of our liberation, something that bypasses fiat money, fractional reserve, the the uh, corrupt banking cartel and so forth, and actually liberates us into honest exchanges, voluntary exchanges. Um, and it's building the railroad tracks of the entire new economy of the world. And that's just in the, we, we, in Thrive, we deal with sectors. You know, what are the main sectors of human activity? And in terms of economics and justice, the, the pulse chain is just an absolute phenomenon that's going to change the, the world. And why I'm so excited, even in addition to that, is that phenomenon is also being matched by polyculture permaculture in uh, in growing food. It's being matched yeah. by, by real free choice and homeschooling. So in every single sector, there is a whole system, as Buckminster Fuller used to say, there's a whole system solution that honors nature aligns with the flow of the unified field and can actually nurture everybody on the planet with much less. And we can actually be the thriving species that we were born to be. Maybe you could give us just a little bit of teaser of a teaser on what we can expect from you at PulseCon. Do you think you'd be willing to do that? Sure. Um, my specialty is connecting the dots. 
and the big picture. I'm what Bucky called uh, a comprehensive. So I'll connect some dots to, to give uh, a, a, an empowering context for what a phenomenal event PulseCon is and the, the release of Pulse Chain and so forth are. Because I'm an expert on the bad news, but I only became an expert on the bad news in order that I could become an expert on the good news, uh, on, on the solutions. So sure. I'll, I'll help give a, a context for why uh, Pulse Chain is needed and how it can serve going forward um, in the future. And then how that also fits in, in the larger picture of solutions. We're, we're in beta testing and about to launch. We'll be launching probably just a few weeks after PulseCon. We'll be launching this global Thrive Solutions Hub which is a decentralized um, private platform, uncensored, uh, that will empower ethical solutionaries to increase their reach, share resources, share important messages and events with other solutionaries worldwide so that we can literally, literally geometrically enhance the number of people who are involved in collaboration on the true ethical uh, solutions. So that's a little glimpse of what I'm looking forward to talking about. I'm so excited for this. It, that sounds absolutely remarkable. So yeah, I just can't wait for it either. I, mean, I know how excited you are. Why do you think regular people out there should be excited about the potential for Pulse Chain and also Mad Energy launching on Pulse Chain? Do you have any thoughts on that? Oh my goodness, do I ever? <laughs> well, first of all, if you're feeling uh, kind of helpless, you think this, this Leviathan of suppression in every sector uh, is just unbeatable, come to PulseCon. You're going you're gonna to see the alternatives <laughs> in terms of truth, in terms of freedom, in terms of collaboration, and also in terms of these whole system solutions. If your prosperity is not where you want it to be, come and get informed about what Pulse Chain is, because I don't know of a better opportunity on the horizon right now with, you know, they're, they're taking down the American economy, they're taking down the, the dollar, they're taking down the stock market, they're rigging, the every market is rigged and they want to collapse them all, uh, including crypto, so that they can bring in this one world government, uh, you know, central bank digital currency that they'll have complete control of. And if we don't stop them, they will. So if you're concerned about that agenda, come to PulseCon and you will leave uh, uplifted in a very grounded, uh, practical way. Plus, you'll just have a sense of uh, being able to hang out with hundreds or thousands of like-minded people who are really looking for the alternatives, who are ethical in terms of honoring everybody's individual freedom and sovereignty. And now we're all meeting each other worldwide. And I'm not sure that I've been to an event like what I think PulseCon will be in terms of taking it to the next level. I was just going to say that I'll tell you one of the most uh, the things I'm most excited about doing going is the opportunity to meet like minded people. Like you said, the community that's involved with with Hex and with Pulse Chain. I don't know if I've ever seen a community on any platform that is just as supportive and strong and solid as these people are for each other and just as enthusiastic. So I think that in itself is going to be a real, real eye opener for a lot of people and really just blow their minds away. That, that in alone could be great. Yeah. Let me pick up on that a little bit, because I think it's a really important point. You know, it doesn't take uh, a really wise person to notice out in the world that humanity is bifurcating right now. Is polarizing over politics, it's polarizing over money, over medicine, they just race, everything. everything. And that's not an accident. This is an intentional agenda that we've laid out in, in all, all of our movies. But as it's bifurcating, those who are willing to choose truth and freedom, uh, that can be a real risk because you, may, you might risk your social set, your political uh, followers, um, and, you know, even your, your social friendships and so forth, because if they disagree with you these days that, you know, there's a tendency to just push people away rather than sit down and have a meaningful, respectful conversation to get to the truth. Instead, it's about, well, if you're not on my team, then you're out of my life type of thing. And so it sure. can be a scary thing when you really go to stand up for your own unique perception of the truth and to stand up for everybody's freedom. What I have found, because I've been deeply involved in this for a long time, is everybody who does that, if they hang in there, though it may feel like a dark night of the soul or like they're, 
you know, jumping off a cliff with wings that they hope work or something like that. What's happening with everyone that I know is that they're finding new friendships that are so much deeper and more trustworthy than the old ones because they are based on respectful honoring of differences. They're based on let's work together to find out what's true and let's work together to find out what actually works to solve these problems. So people who are courageous enough to make that leap are landing in this, this culture, worldwide culture of freedom loving people who are having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're really enjoying each other and they're enjoying life and they're and they feel good about themselves because they're connected to their soul. They haven't sold out their truth. And so there's a spiritual light about them. There's a sense of confidence and a sense of just being able to share their love with other beings. Whereas a lot of people have gone that down that other track of, uh, you know, I, I'm afraid all the time. I'm anxious. You know, I just want to to, to go along with the establishment, whatever they tell me to do, Don't even if it means anything. giving up my business, putting toxic substances in my children, you know, all of this kind of stuff. Um, what's ha it, there is that bifurcation. There's a fork in the road. So the more we allow ourselves to enjoy the path of truth and freedom, even though it's very challenging, the more people who took the other path can look over and go, wait a minute, I'm going around kind of lonely and scared. And those folks over there are having a great time being with each other, standing up for the, for their truth. Maybe I'll try that out. <laughs> it's got to be one of the bravest things that people can do nowadays because of the, you know, stipulation society puts on taking that leap of faith and jumping off the cliff. It, society will tell you that there's nothing but, you know, uh, lava waiting at the bottom for you. And, and <laughs> when people actually jump, it turns out there's a cloud that catches you yeah. almost, right? <laughs> well, and let me answer the second part of your question too about mad energy, because you guys are my dream come true. Uh, I, you know, I've been working in this field for 20 years. Um, and, you know, there's a, a bunch of us who've been working in it, but it's been a long kind of lonely slog, you know, where we try to get the business aspects and the money aspects and the the, the, the science and the engineering and the security, and then the relationships are challenging and all that. So those of us who've hung in there to actually see the incredible stuff that's emerging right now, for me, when I was introduced to you guys and I saw that this entity was coming in with serious funding, really good ethical people, really good in, in relationship, who have the engineers, they've got the contacts, they've got the business sense to actually create an incubator that can connect the engineers with the software, with the, you know, the geothermal and the magnetic devices and bring in the, the lawyers and the business people and the funders to actually create a whole system of safety and nurturing around these inventions. It's like, Hallelujah, the time has come and, and you guys are really embodying that. And when people find out about that, if they don't know about this, so if anybody doesn't know about this, go to the website. What, tell me what the website is. Madenergy.com. Madenergy.com is a gorgeous website. You can start finding out about it and you'll hear more about it, I gather, at PulseCon. Yeah, I'd like to ask you how you feel knowing that it feels like a lot of these kind of missions and goals of yours for the last 20, 30 years are kind of all coming to a head right now at together simultaneously at the correct time. What, what must you be feeling right now, Foster, knowing that that's happening? Donnie, it is so weird <laughs> because at, this, at the same time that what I call the global domination agenda is literally on the verge of taking over all food, all money, all education. Uh, all media and so forth, uh, and it goes on. You know, I'm at the same moment where we're on the precipice of that. Everything that I have believed in all these years, in terms of accessing energy harmoniously, of having a true free market, of having real spiritual acceptance of one another's paths, and where people can, if they're industrious, if they're honest, they can collaborate with other people and be super prosperous while creating a thriving world. That's not only happening at the same time, but I know personally that that's the one with all the energy behind it. That's the one backed by the unified field and the vast majority of human beings on planet Earth. So I, I actually don't believe that we can lose. It can be really ugly in the meantime. I don't want to be Pollyanna about that at all. You know, there are food shortages and cyber attacks and uh, economic collapse and so forth. Those 
are coming if the controllers have their way. And at the same time, I think that even if it happens, it will be temporary because there's this huge upsurge of truth. Of, and that allows us to align with scientific principles and ethical principles. That's the key to the breakthrough to thriving as opposed to getting bogged down in corrupt politics. All politics is corrupt because it's all based on taking your money as taxation, which is a violation of the non-aggression principle. So you will, not, you will never get ultimate solutions to these big problems from politics. That's the biggest awakening uh, of all that people have in, in store for them. But this upsurge is coming and it's unstoppable. So I'm actually really ecstatic about it. Yeah, well, I can honestly say that here at Mad Energy, I don't think where we we would be where we're at without your vision and your support because you've been working on this for so long now. And, you know, around here, I don't think we believe that, um, you know, things are happen happening accidentally. This is all part of a bigger plan and it's That's all right. coming to a head because it's all part of a bigger plan. This is the time, this is the opportunity and this is the truth as you keep saying, so. Exactly, and you know, as I said, we tried to warn people about so much of what's going on right now 10 years ago. And some people were able to get it from a film. For a lot of other people, they didn't really wake up to what we were talking about until um, their business had been shut down. Till they didn't right. go, get to go in to, to you know, be with their grandparent when they were dying or when uh, there was violence in their streets and the policemen were standing by, you know, on and on, these just uh, amazing things until it actually reaches uh, in, close to or into someone's life. I've got, you know, friends and acquaintances who are nurses and doctors and firefighters and so forth. Uh, and they, a lot of them really got slammed. If they didn't want to take the vaccine, uh, they were slandered, they were fired. They, you know, a bunch of them were involved in lawsuits that now they're winning and so forth. But a lot of them didn't take our warning seriously until they saw it affecting their own bodies, their own family, their own prosperity and so forth. And then they were like, oh, is this what you were talking about? And mm. unfortunately, it's taken that on a global level for now. I think the majority of people on planet Earth have actually woken up to something's not right here. We're being lied to. So what can we do? Pulse chain is a, a real um, answer to that. And so is Mad Energy. Yeah. Well, we're absolutely excited for PulseCon. It's coming in two months. PulseCon2022.com is where you go to get tickets. Um, we, I'd like to know personally, just what are your predictions about Pulse, Pulse X, Hex, once Pulse Chain does finally launch? Any predictions on that? It's an interesting question because I, you know, I've been so much involved in futurism, you know, studying the patterns of the past and the present in order to try to figure out what's happening in the future that I've gotten pretty accurate in my predictions as long as I don't tie it too closely to time. <laughs> so I'm good <laughs> at recognizing the patterns of where things are going. And I try to avoid giving actual numbers of when something's going to happen or, you know, what price something is going to be worth or some. So in terms of, uh, of uh, pulse chain, uh, my clear sense is that it's going to be huge. As simple as that. I, I don't know whether it's going to be 10x, 100x, 1000x, whatever. But And that's not ultimately what really interests me because this is like a, a huge tree growing. And the important thing is that the tree is healthy and growing because it's going to nurture you know, so many billions uh, of people. So that's my, my biggest prediction. I, I'm not an expert enough um, to try to predict timing or actual levels. If you're not aware of this particular train that's leaving the station, really a couple of trains with, with uh, Pulse Chain and with Mad Energy, get yourself educated as Kimberly and I have been doing over the last six months to a year. Uh, and if it's something that, that really draws you, then position yourself to be a part of it, not just so that you will gain, which you will, but so that you can be a part of providing this to the whole world so that everybody can thrive. Well, I don't feel like we should talk about a, a Pulse Chain crypto event without bringing up Richard Hart in uh, one way or another. So uh, I'd like to ask Richard Hart and really the Hexican community as a whole have really been, you know, creating this breakaway civilization, it seems like with Pulse Chain in crypto. 
And that's one that's fully embodying all these things that you talk about. And I'm talking about self-custody, um, you know, decentralized infrastructure, no middlemen, all the things, freedom, basically, right? Which is uh, your, your life's mission, your goals, Foster. So, so uh, what are your thoughts on that movement that Richard and the Hexicans are bringing forth to humanity right now? Well, I love hanging out with visionaries. That's why I love hanging out with you guys and with Kimberly and, <laughs> you know, so many people uh, in our network, all the inventors, the doctors and so forth. And Richard Hart is one of them. Boy, he's one of the humans who is really looking deep into his own soul, into his own expertise, uh, and then responding courageously to the guidance that he gets. And so I have tremendous respect for what the guy's done and what he's continuing to do. Um, I gather that he's going to be appearing at least virtually at the conference, which I'm super excited about. <clears throat> and, but when you mentioned the breakaway civilization, I, I, that can be a scary term for people because people are so dependent on civilization, the idea of breaking away might sound weird or, or ominous, but let's, let's just think for a minute. Okay, well, what is, what is Richard breaking away from? What is Pulse Chain breaking away from? Well, it's breaking away from the coercion, the uh, corruption, uh, the censorship, uh, the constraints that are being imposed on individual freedom in every sector right now. But the, this Pulse Chain particularly focuses on the economic sector. But as we've talked about, it's simply a symbol. It's a demonstration of the pattern that people are awakening to that our natural nature, our, our intrinsic uh, nature is to be autonomous beings. We're literally electrical conduits between the earth and space. We are charged capacitors. And as long as we are free to do what we please, as long as we don't violate anyone else, then that capacity grows. And the creativity blossoms, and then that allows us to create ourselves, but also then to collaborate voluntarily with other uh, human circuitry. <laughs> and, and then that collaboration is starting to create the greatest grassroots movement in the history of the world. And that's what we're helping to empower with the Thrive Solutions Hub. But the breakaway civilization is just breaking away from artificial constraints and corruption and breaking free into creating the, a, a thriving culture literally beyond our imagination. So I believe that it's more of a, a breakthrough civilization than a, than a breakaway civilization, but breaking away is necessary in the meantime. Right. Well, Foster, this has been fantastic. Um, how else can people find out more about what you're doing right now and your goals and your life's mission if they would like to uh, learn more about that? Could you tell them? Yeah, everything is, is, uh, at, is accessible at thriveon.com. And if you go there, you can see our movies. You can see a lot of other media. We've got you know over 200 articles. We've got over 100 uh, blogs and, and podcasts. And We've got something called the Freedom Portal for people who are interested in deepening their understanding. Uh, that's a, a monthly membership subscription where you can join uh, our uh, weekly Saturday shows. And a lot of people, when they've deepened their understanding in the Freedom Portal, then they go like, okay, I get it. Now, what can I do? And that's what the Thrive Solutions Hub is, is to empower people worldwide to accelerate their process of getting clarity on who they are, what their purpose is, what sector they want to help transform, what issue they want to take on, what level of engagement, whether it's meeting immediate needs, creating systemic change, or, uh, or working on the consciousness shift. It's Once you know that about yourself, then you can start a group, you can join a group. If you've already got a group, you can connect with other groups uh, worldwide. And this collaboration is kind of like a, a mycelial network, like with the mushrooms underground or something <laughs> like that, that it's just a natural interconnection of like-minded ethical souls on planet Earth. And I believe that that, along with all of the health and the energy and the, the education and so forth that it will empower, um, will be a critical factor in transforming our ability to really flourish on this gorgeous planet.
Well, Foster, this has been amazing. I know how time, how valuable your time is, and um, just want to thank you for taking the time to uh, you know talk with us today, and really thank you for all you do for mankind. And um, yeah, we're so looking forward to seeing you in Las Vegas in two months for PulseCon. So thanks again. We'll see you there. Yeah, you are welcome. It's uh, it's been a real pleasure. I love to talk to you anytime we can, Donnie. And I'll see you on the strip in Las Vegas. Wow, that was just incredible. Foster is just an amazing human being, and we're so fortunate to have him as a supporter of Mad Energy. If you uh, are looking forward to hearing him speak some more, you can definitely join us at PulseCon. To get your tickets, go to PulseCon2022.com and use the promo code MADENERGY to get a 15% discount. So go grab your tickets, and we can't wait to see all of you at Resorts World in Las Vegas. MAD is the people's answer. Join one of our upcoming live streams at discovermad.com. Smash that like button, subscribe, share this video, and head on over to mad.energy to invest and join the movement.